Welcome to Retro Arcade Reviews. My name is John, and in this episode, we will be reviewing the arcade classic, Sengoku. Sengoku is a side-scrolling beat-em-up that was developed by SNK in 1991. First things first, the word Sengoku means fighting throughout the country, and refers to a period in Japanese history known as the Age of Warring States. It lasted from 1454 to 1573. It was marked by political and social upheaval and civil conflict over territorial disputes. Now, Sengoku was the very first Neo Geo game I ever played and I kind of like the game. Yeah the game's controls are a bit clunky and stiff like a number of Neo Geo launch titles but the game had a lot of imagination. It was different from most of the beat em ups at the time in terms of story and overall presentation. I mean you had enemies coming towards you from the background, you can get various swords and magic attacks, you get beamed up randomly and fight amongst the clouds, you can transform into a samurai, a ninja or a worthless dog. I know it's a wolf but it feels like a worthless dog. The game was just different and I I have to admit, it made me excited about future Neo Geo titles. The only thing that was missing was enemies coming towards you from the foreground like an Arabian fight. I remember playing Sengoku a lot in the arcades. I remember I kept pumping quarters into the game until I ran out of money and that was pretty much the gist of the game. You see, the game is really not that hard. What it is, is pretty long. I mean, it's really long, so you're gonna be playing for a while. And I didn't know that at the time. Every time I would play the game, I thought I was inching closer and closer to the end, but I was far from it. I didn't in mind though because the game always had something cool visually to offer when you advance. In this game you control a ninja or a cowboy who are the descendants of two samurai who defeated an evil warlord 400 years prior. The warlord left the prophecy that he would return and return he did as you have to do battle against hordes of resurrected enemies from feudal Japan to stop him from world domination. You can obtain various orbs that can offer life, weapons, or a ranged attack as mentioned earlier. Now the game reminds me of the 80s movie Big Trouble in Little China. And you may think that's a bit of a stretch, but hear me out. When you think of a cowboy and let's say a samurai joining forces, I know it's a ninja in the game, but a descendant samurai, remember. You may think of the 1971 movie Red Sun with Charles Bronson and Toshiro Mufuni. And if you didn't, enjoy your youth. However, there are no parallels with Red Sun and Sengoku's plot. But let's fast forward to 1986 when Big Trouble in Little China hit theaters. In this movie, a truck driver helps a friend rescue his kidnapped girlfriend from a ghost of a 3,000 year old warlord. Now keep in mind that Big Trouble in Little China was originally written to be a western and if you look at Jack Burton's Get Up who is the truck driver in the movie it's evident that he can double as a cowboy and his friend who is just a quote unquote restaurant owner pulls off crazy martial arts moves and is able to dispatch hordes of enemies coming at him. So clearly these characters can pass for the cowboy and ninja in Sengoku but more than that you have an ancient warlord hell bent on world domination, enemies inspired by ancient eastern warriors, supernatural powers, and mythical monsters all taking place in a modern environment. But there's no production notes on the game that I could find so this comparison could be purely coincidental. Coincidental or not though, both the samurai and the cowboy are icons of their respective cultures and stem from the overly romanticized notion of the selfless hero who abides by an implied code of honor, ergo the Bushido code. Even if it was the intention of the developers of the game or not, Sengoku strategically melts the icon iconography from the historic Sengoku period with the contemporary notions of the selfless hero. Other than Neo Geo consoles, Sengoku spawned two sequels and was ported over to the SNES, Sega CD, Wii's Virtual Console, Xbox One, PS4, and the Switch. Sengoku was one of the first line of games to showcase the capabilities of the Neo Geo and I really enjoyed the game. And if you feel like taking out some feudal lords, I say strap on that six shooter, grab your katanas, play this game, and let me know what you think.